40 points. He hit 15 of the 20 field goals from the floor for Nichols. And that was huge for them. That kept them in that game and nearly caused them to get the upset. But Sam Houston prevails and they await their opponent from this game. Who will it be? Will it be the Lions or will it be the Bobcats? Opening tip. Bound to get underway. Southeastern wins it. They're gonna redo the jump ball. Why they do, I'm gonna quickly go over the roster real quick. Starting with Southeastern. Starting at one guard position at a Woodland High School. And Kapaya Lincoln Community College, the guard, 6'1", junior, Trey Hunchin. Patrick Sullivan, the 6'9", center. Brandon Fortenberry, 6'2", sophomore. Robert Timms, a 6'6", forward. And the other guard is Stephen Burchess. It's Fortenberry with it. And a three ball early for Southeastern. That first three made by Tibbs. Deshaun Patterson, not Stephen Burgess starting. 6'4", 220 guard forward. Looking at Texas State's starting lineup. Starting at four at a 6'8", 245 pound senior. Number one, Emmanuel Padias Amute. Uriel Segura starts at one guard spot. He's a 6'3", junior. Cameron Johnson, 6'7", 220. Starts at 1-4 position. Ryan White, the other guard at 5'10", 175. And John Ryback at 6'5", 225 pound forward out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And with it now is Patterson. Patterson moves it over to Fortenberry. Fortenberry, 43% shooter from beyond the arc. That one, they're gonna say he stepped out. Hutchin tried to grab it, not in time. He turns it over, and it is Texas State basketball. This is the final game of the quarterfinals. One more spot left to be decided for the semifinal matchup. SFA will play Corpus tomorrow. Sam Houston awaits their opponent. Also tomorrow are the women's semifinals. Shot from Texas State, no good. Rebound though by Amute. And a foul called on Southeastern, and that'll send Namute to the line. And he makes the first one, and those are the first buckets for Texas State. Early substitution, checking in for Texas State, number 22, Tony Bishop, six foot six forward. He is a transfer out of Richmond Co Richland College, a native of Garland, Texas. As Amute makes both free throws and it's 3-2 Southeastern. This one moved over to Tibbs. Tibbs goes down low to Sullivan. Cross court pass and Hutchins shot can't go. Back the other way. Here comes Segura. Segura drops it off for White. Now right back with it, he goes down low. Baseline jumper, no good. Bishop couldn't get it to go. Back the other way, here's Fortenberry. Fortenberry's shot is blocked. Here comes Texas State back the other way. Segura, three-point jumper in the face of a defender. Great play right there by Texas State. Block shot followed by a big three from Segura with a defender in his face. In the corner, Hutchin three. Segura with it now. Long pass, taken away. Good job, they're gonna call jump ball. 
And it'll be Texas State basketball. Substitution coming in. Gary Dixon, 6'3 guard. Transfer for, from Itawamba Community College. A native of Pontotoc, Mississippi. In his first year with the Lions. Under the basket, Bishop can't get it to go. Southeastern tried to save that one, unable to. It's Texas State basketball. And White set to inbound. Substitution coming in. Jason Marks for Southeastern, 6'6", 195 pound junior out of Little Rock, Arkansas. A junior college teammate of Gary Dixon also went to Itawamba Community College. Right back three, got it! Two big threes from Texas State. They lead it early by five, eight to three. Marks over to Patterson. Patterson with it. In the corner, another three ball, short. Dixon could not get it to go. Segura drops it off. Poor pass, though, and it's stolen away. Back the other way. Here comes Dixon for Southeastern. To Marks. Now it's taken back by Texas State. Segura for Ryback. Two on one opportunity. He tries to pass that one behind Fortenberry. And Fortenberry got a hand on it to knock it out of bounds. The pass intended for Amute. Inbound coming. Segura Amute, now to right back. Inside, Segura jumps back, puts the shot up, no good. Rebounded, Fortenberry. Fortenberry's pass up to Dixon. Dixon nearly has his pocket picked by Segura. Down low now to Sullivan. Under the basket, hook shot, doesn't go, but he is fouled. He'll go to the line for two. And with that stoppage in play, we're under the 16 minute mark and our first official's timeout on the floor. An exciting start to this one. Texas State leads the Lions of Southeastern Louisiana eight to three. Got more Southland basketball after this on SLC Now. And we're back here at the Merrill Center. Texas State and Southeastern Louisiana doing battle. At the line now, Patrick Sullivan. Some notes about him. He leads the Lions with 15.7 points per game and 8.7 rebounds per game. Top performer. He has over 1,200 career points for the Lions. And he misses his first free throw. His team finds themselves down by five. Last time these two teams played, Southeastern made a comeback and won at 75-66. Uh, back on February 3rd. And Sullivan gets that last shot to fall. It bounced around and they made a decision to finally fall. 8-4. And we're gonna have a foul called on Southeastern. 
And it looks like it's going to be on Patterson. In that game, Patrick Sullivan led the Lions. He had 23 points and 10 rebounds and eight blocks. Deshaun Patterson put in 21, and Fortenberry put in 12, and that's what helped Southeastern prevail over Texas State in the regular season. That game was played in Hammond. And that was the only meeting between the two teams. Battle of East and West here in the Southland. Under the basket, shot goes for Robert Tibbs, and it's a two-point game. Brian White to ride back in the corner for three. He's got another one. Texas State back up by five, 11 to six. And it is Marks with the ball, over to Tibbs. Or Fortenberry, excuse me. Sullivan from the corner, nothing but that great shot there from the Lion player, Patrick Sullivan, 11-8. Right back, down low to Amute. Great pass from Amute to Bishop. And Bishop lays it up. Fortenberry now. Driving the lane, spinning under the basket. It's the bottom of the rim. And Fortenberry, or make that marks, knocks it away. And it'll be out of bounds. 13 to eight, our score, 14, 21 left in the first half. White with it, Bishop, top of the key. Works it over to Ryback. And now Bishop along the baseline has nowhere to go, so go all the way back up top to White who puts up a three. He's got a man in his face, no problem. 16 to eight. Sullivan with it. Now it works its way to Fortenberry. Three point shot from Southeastern, no good. The attempt by Dixon. And Tibbs will be called for a foul. He went for the ball in Segura and he couldn't get it. Substitutions in the game now. Checking in, number 30. For Texas State, Jonathan Sloan, a 6'8", 230-pound junior forward out of Dallas, Texas. And John Bowman, 6'4", 200-pound sophomore, also out of Dallas, Texas. They, in, they are in the game now. Segura with the ball. A little crowded, wide open, under the basket, no problem. Cameron Johnson slams it home. And that is going to cost Southeastern Head coach Jim Yarbo to call a timeout. 30-second timeout. Right now, Texas State leads 18 to eight. Texas State getting the job done. So far, the three ball has been good to them. They have not missed yet. Four for four from beyond the arc. Right now they're shooting 50% to the 33% of Southeastern Louisiana. Here comes Southeastern, it's Tibbs. Tibbs spinning around Johnson, baseline jumper. No good, rebounded by Sloan. And back up now, Ryan White. And that shot is good. Texas State now has 20.
Southeastern with it now, it's Fortenberry. Texas State on top, 20 to eight, on top of Southeastern. And that one heading straight for the cheerleader. Poor pass from Southeastern. That one underneath, great pass. Good defense though from Sullivan. And he forces the turnover. Here comes Southeastern the other way, it's Tibbs. Tibbs trying to go down low to Sullivan, he can't handle it. And turns it right back over to Texas State. Ryan White with it. Bishop, got it. Long two, and it's 22 to eight, Texas State. And they're gonna call an elbow on Tibbs. And with that, we should have a stoppage as we get another look at it. Elbows going around. And an easy call. White brings it across. And they're gonna call foul on Hutchin. And it'll be an inbounds play, but first, we have an official's timeout on the floor. Texas State in control early here over Southeastern Louisiana. They lead it over Southeastern, 22 to eight. We'll be back after this break. You're watching Southland Basketball on SLC Now. Texas State with the ball now. It is Ryan White. Ryan White working, looking for some help. And he's gonna toss it up to Segura. Segura drives to the basket, tries to pass it off and it's stolen away. Sullivan ends up with it. And a shot from the baseline is good for Jason Marks. Cameron Johnson working it around. Sullivan caught for the reaching foul. Fourth, fifth team foul called. Now on Southeastern Louisiana, they trail Texas State 22 to 10. And we have a substitution in the game. David Numba, or Dumba, excuse me. 6'7", 200 pound junior out of Baton Rouge. Johnson, down low. 
And a good basket there from Jonathan Sloan. Working on Duma, who just checked into the game. And Texas State leads 24 to 10. Shot no good, White with it. He drives to the basket, drops it off for Johnson. That one blocked and eventually picked up by Dumba. Jason Marks. And they're going to have a blocking foul. And some substitutions coming back in. Starters, Ryback, and Amute coming back in. As we take another look at that one, Segura did not have his feet planted. And that's why the blocking foul was called. And that sends Gary Dixon to the line. Fordenberry. To inbound against the knocking give him shots. It looked like he was lining up to shoot. Dixon shot from the baseline, just as good. Two points there, 24-12. And a foul called on SLU. And it'll be Ryback to inbound. Texas State comes in this game right in a three-game win streak, including an overtime victory over the number one seed, Samuelson State Bearcats. Winning that one in San Marcos. And that one goes out of bounds, but it remains Lion basketball. Texas State leading SLU 24 to 12. In the game now is Burchis. Burchis under the basket trying to get it to Dumba. And Dumba trying not to run him over. Could not help it. As Johnson goes to the floor. And with that, Texas State has a one in one opportunity. SLU already getting themselves into foul trouble. 9.31 left to go in the first half. And already the Bobcats are going to the line. One in one opportunity here for Johnson. Two of six tonight. First trip to the free throw line, and he makes that front end of the one and one. them both and it's 26 12 and Johnson will take a breather as Bishop is back in the game now it is Brandon Fortenberry with it third leading scorer on the team averaging just over eight points a game and as I mentioned great three-point shooter This one working over to Marks. Marks in the corner to Dixon. Dixon nearly lost it, but he's able to recover. And Bowman with some tough defense on him. Shot clock at three. He's got to put a shot up. Segura steals it away. Back the other way, and he has it knocked away. Great job there by Burgess to get back. Burgess the other way, drives the lane. And they're going to call the charge. Burchis does not like it. And neither does Coach Yarbrough. Number 12. Number 12 is the best player on our team, Scrub. Take his game off. You are awful. Segura now. 
can tell the Texas State faithful sitting right behind me here. Traveling here to Katy, Texas in the Merrill Center, all the way from San Marcos. Ryback will be called for traveling. Marks will inbound. Fortenberry will take it. And coming back to get it is Hutchin or Birches. Birches now moves it up. And he will go to Marks. Marks top the key. And it is Fortenberry. Now Dixon. Dixon fighting off defenders. Fortenberry for three. Short. Could not get it to go. High pass there from Bowman over to White, but White able to catch it. And Fortenberry back the other way. Sullivan, jumper from the corner, no good. White now over to Bowman. Baseline jumper doesn't go. Rebound Sullivan. 26-12, Texas State leading. And that shot doesn't go. And with that stoppage, we have an official's timeout on the floor. Texas State though in control, up by 14 on the Lions. They lead 26-12. Don't go anywhere, we got more Southland basketball after this on SLC Now. Both teams back on the floor now. As Birch is set to take his free throw shots. Right now, Texas State shooting 45%, including an impressive 100% from beyond the arc. As Birch makes that first free throw. Southeastern, 5 of 15, shooting 33.3%. They are one for five from beyond the arc. And Birch makes both of them. Texas State dominated in the paint, eight to two. And right now, teams are the two teams pretty much even on points off of turnovers, four apiece. It's really just coming down to efficient shooting and shot selection. Amute on the line, does not get the shot to fall, and Marks brings it up the other way, all the way down to Sullivan along the baseline. Three-point shot now from Hutchin, no good. Hutchin, the second leading scorer for the Lions, averaging 10.6 a game. He also is a deadly three-point shooter, averaging nearly 44%. And 
And traveling caught on Johnson. And a turnover in favor for the Lions. Fortenberry now. Over to Sullivan. Baseline for Patterson, his shot, air ball. Southeastern gets it back, no look pass to Sullivan. And Sullivan, with his long arms, able to easily put that one away. 10 point lead now for Texas State. And a poor shot, another turnover. Here comes Southeastern the other way. Patterson, Fortenberry for three. He doesn't get it too much. Put a little bit too much behind it, hits the back part of the rim. Southeastern continuing to struggle for a team that's usually really good at hitting the three. They are one for seven thus far tonight. After making their first four, Texas State hasn't tried another one. That man right there has two as Mark steals it. He tries to keep it from going out of bounds. And pretty much erases any kind of fast break. But the other way, Hutchin, wide open three. He can't get it to go. And while he looks at the goal, his man was uncovered but able to get back in time as Dylan Hale in the game now, a freshman out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Stolen away again, Marks picks the pocket of a Bobcat player, turns around Fortenberry. Fortenberry doesn't have anything, tries to drive, bumps his defender, he is fouled on the shot, and he'll go to the line for a pair. Take another look at this one. Working on the freshman, goes up. And the freshman, Hale will be called for the foul. Getting his hand all over Fortenberry. Nice aggression there. First shot, no good. Takes a bad bounce. And Sloan and Segura check back in as well as number 11 for Southeastern, Robert Tibbs. 6'6", senior out of Houston. And he makes the second, and the score now 26 to 17. Fortenberry's first points. White to Rybeck. Goes back out to Sloan. And a foul on Southeastern. Once again, nine team fouls on Southeastern Louisiana. And that one off the back rim. And Sullivan bumps White hard, no foul called. Doesn't matter. White drains another three. Texas State still perfect from beyond the arc. Five of five from beyond the line. White has 10. Tibbs to the inside, can't make the shot. Over to Rybeck now. Patterson though read that all the way, knocks it out of bounds. And Marks back into the game. Interesting note about Southeastern Louisiana this year. And this season, 14 and one at home. One of the better teams at home in the conference. That three ball, no good. First missed three by Texas State. Driving to the basket and floats it up and in was Fortenberry. Very nice play, 10 point lead. Ryan White, another three, he's got another one. Three threes tonight for Ryan White. He's got 11. Defense! 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 
Sullivan under the basket, crowded by Bobcats. In the corner now, Hutchin for three. He answers right back. And Hutchin gets off the schneid and finally makes a three. He was 0 for 3 and 0 for 5 overall. Those are his first points of the game. Rybeck doesn't have it. Bishop under the basket, slow, knocked away. And that one's gonna go out of bounds. It'll be Texas State basketball. And we've hit the final official's timeout of the first half. Texas State up by 10 on Southeastern, 32 to 22. The conclusion of the first half after this, you're watching Southland basketball on SLC Now. Back underway here. Hutchin nearly gets the ball away from Segura, but he's able to get it to White inside. Patterson knocks that one down, and it's a steal for Southeastern, and Patterson will bring it up. Patterson to March, top of the key. Inside pass, Hutchin, floater, little short, and Sloan grabs it. Ryback under the basket, off the glass, no good. Put back by Sloan. 6'8 Junior gets up to the top of the rim and able to knock that one home. Amute and Johnson set to come back in. Long two from Sullivan, and he put way too much behind that. And Sullivan having some issues. Patrick Sullivan, a second team all conference selection. That one over his head, and Marks. Knocked it out of Sloan's hands, but it went out after last touching him, and so to be Texas State ball. Sloan will have a breather. As Johnson and Amute come back in. Patrick Sullivan, the only representation for Southeastern on one of the all-conference selection teams. Thirty-six, twenty-two. Texas State leads. Fourteen-point lead here. And Amute steals it. And here comes White the other way. Drives the lane. Layup. Air ball. They look more like a pass now. Amute under the basket with the putback. And Amute getting aggressive in the paint. Marks. And it's Patterson driving to the hole. And is a charging foul. Texas State basketball. Tibbs back in the game, as well as Dixon. Hutchin will take a seat, so will Patterson. And Southeastern Louisiana takes a timeout with a minute 41. 
Coach Yarborough sees his squad down by 16 just before the break. Texas State doing everything right now. Six of seven from beyond the arc. On the other side, Southeastern struggling. Two of nine from beyond the arc. They're eight of 25 shooting. Texas State, 14 of 33. Ryan White leading the way for the Bobcats with 11 points. He has four rebounds, two assists, and he's four of six from the field, including three of three from beyond the arc. On the other side, just about everybody is struggling. Sullivan, two of four right now, one of two from the line. He has four rebounds and five points. But he's having trouble finding his shot so far tonight, as well as the point guard, Hutchin, who's one of seven. His only shot was a three-pointer. He's on the bench right now, as is Fortenberry and Patterson. All those guys, starters. And Amute got a little too fancy, trying to pass that one between three Lion defenders, and the Lions take it away. And they have the ball now. That one to Sullivan. Sullivan along the baseline working on Amute. Sullivan 6'9", 215. Amute 6'8", 245. Dixon for three. That one drifted a little bit to the left. And Dixon having trouble tonight. 0 for three from three-point land. And it's White, who's had no trouble with the three ball tonight. Gives it off to Amute. Waves off Segura. And the big man setting the play. And he'll give it off to White. 10 seconds left on the shot clock, 30 in the first half. Ryan White again, a three. Oh, he almost had four for four. In and out, tough break there. Shot clock no longer in effect. Southeastern looking for the last possession. Marks has it inside. Nice play to Dixon, who was running along the baseline. Here comes Segura back the other way. And a right back shot at the buzzer. Got it! That counts! A three at the buzzer, and the three ball continues to benefit the Bobcats. They'll go into halftime with that big momentum boost. We take one last look right before the buzzer. Right back, sets, shoots. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Texas State leads at halftime, 41-24. We'll have the second half for you. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Southern Conference basketball on SLC Now. Just about ready to get the second half started here at the Merrill Center in Katy, Texas. Final quarter, final game on hand here for you. Texas State and Southeast Louisiana. Texas State more than in control right now. 41-24. Looking at their numbers from halftime, they are shooting 42%, including seven of nine from beyond the arc. Ryan White, three of four from behind the line. Southeastern only shooting 33%. They're gonna have to get more out of Patrick Sullivan, Trent Hutchin, and Brandon Fortenberry if they wanna get back into this one. It's Hutchin now, no look past. And now Hutchin, three man in his face, and he's got it. They're gonna need more of that. Hutchin has only made two shots tonight now, both three-point shots. It's a good way for them to start off. And back the other way goes Texas State. 43-27 now. Here's Sullivan. Hands it off to Fortenberry. Defense, 
Fortenberry drives to the basket, just throws the ball up, hoping for a foul, does not get it. And here come the Bobcats the other way. Segura, quick pass to Amute. He drives in, simple shot, can't get it to go though. Didn't put enough behind it. And Southeastern back the other way. Hutchin, man in his face, a three, it's short. And Sullivan turns around, looks at his teammate, asks him, what are you doing? Rushing the shot, that's not gonna help. Patterson helps cause a turnover. Fortenberry the other way. And a foul called on Texas State. Fort Fortenberry got up a little bit slow, but he looks all right. And we're gonna have a timeout called by Southeastern and Coach Yarborough wants to come out and have a word with the official. Clarify something, 43-27. Go back to those first half stats. Looking at what the damage Texas State was doing, 20 out rebounded, that's what's killing them. 27 rebounds to 12 for Southeastern in the first half. 12 points in the paint. 12 second chance points, only two for Southeastern Louisiana. They're getting killed on the boards and it's now starting to show on the scoreboard. And if Texas State keeps shooting this, this good from beyond the arc, it's gonna be a long second half here for the Lions. Top performers in the first half, Ryan White, 11 points for Texas State. Behind him, John Ryback, three of four. All his points coming from three-point land, nine points for him. Cameron Johnson picking up eight. And on the other side, leading scorers, for Southeastern with five apiece, Robert Tibbs and Patrick Sullivan. They're gonna have to do more than that. Trent Hutchin only had three, he has six now, since he has added a three. Brandon Fortenberry at the time only had three. He has increased to five. And that's where we stand right now, 43 to 29. Southeast Louisiana, the four seed. Taking on Texas State, the five. Texas State finished the season 15 and 15 overall, even 500 record, nine and seven in conference. They had to win three straight to secure that five spot. And on the other side, Southeastern finished second in the Eastern Division with an 18 and 11 record, 10 and six in the conference. And at the line now is Fortenberry. Front end, and he got it. And one play. He now has six points in the game. Amute takes the shot. Hutchins steals it back the other way. And he goes to Sullivan along the baseline. Sullivan spins, turns around, jumper, no good. Fight with Amute for it, and they're gonna call him for the foul. And Amute out muscling the second team all conference selection. And he'll head to the bench as Jonathan Sloan checks back into this game. Had a good first half. Two for three from the floor, four points. Picked up three rebounds as well. And did a good job defensively. Low now, Cameron Johnson out to Ryback. One of the three didn't have it, and they're gonna call Patterson for the foul. And one thing that killed SLU in the first half is they got into foul trouble early. 43-30 our score. And Gary Dixon coming into the game. Inbound now. Right back with him for Texas State. Bobcats now driving. It's White. White floater shot, doesn't go. Sullivan comes down with it. 
And he hands it off to Fortenberry, quickly brings it back up. Fortenberry stops, puts up the jumper, doesn't get it. Rebounded by Jason Marks, and he's fouled in the attempt. And we'll have an inbound here. And Texas State makes a sub. Bring it on, John Bowman. Segura will take a seat. Fordberry quickly into Hutchin. And everybody wanted to travel on that one. Sullivan can't get the shot to go. Sullivan's still struggling to find his shot as well as Hutch. And Ryback had a wide open three, gets his own rebound as he misses. And they're gonna call charging on Texas State. And it's a turnover, and it's Lion basketball. When your top two performers of the season are four of 15 collectively and only have 11 points, that's a problem, especially since both of them average double digits. Dixon with it now, Marks over to Hutchins. Sullivan trying to shoot it over the outstretched defender. Three-point shot from the corner is good from Hutchin. He's only hit three shots, but he has nine points. Make that 11, he uh, also has two free throws. And Texas State responds right back as Sloan gets that one to go. He has six in the game. Dixon now. Hands it off to Sullivan. Sullivan looking around. And it is Fortenberry. Dixon wide open three, buries it. Another three from Southeastern. They've hit a couple here. At halftime, they had only hit two. Now in the second half, they've hit three. They are three of four in the second half from beyond the arc. Sloan, long two, almost rolled in. But the bounce was not enough. And back the other way come the Lions. Here's Hutchin. Outside to Marks. Marks thought about the three, decided better. Goes to Sullivan inside. Sullivan, though, crowded by Bobcats. Wide open Dixon. Another three. He's got another one. Dixon now with 10 points. Another three. This game getting closer. Lead down to six. And a foul called before the shot. That'll be the 13th foul on Southeastern Louisiana. And with that, we hit our first official's timeout. Game getting ever so much closer. Texas State still leads Southeast Louisiana 45-39. We're gonna take a break. You're watching Southland Conference Basketball on SLC Now.
And we're back following the officials' timeout. In the second half, Texas State shooting 33%, Southeastern 45, including four of five from beyond the arc. And that is making a difference now. As under the basket was Tony Bishop. He's fouled as he goes for the shot. He makes it. And an and one opportunity coming up. Forty-seven thirty-nine, and that shot is good. And it's forty-eight thirty-nine, nine-point lead now for the Bobcats. Fortenberry has his pocket picked. Change that. He was fouled. They're gonna call the foul on Ryan White. It looked like Ryan White might have gotten the clean steal, but a foul instead. Texas State head coach Doug Davalos being warned. Will be Dixon the inbound. It's Dixon with it. He's hit a pair of threes. And a little bit of a mix, but there's a foul call before Sullivan got the ball. And the refs sort out the issues. And we're ready to resume play here. Fortenberry, he's got Dixon in the corner. And Dixon brings it out. Fortenberry with it now. Sullivan to Marks. And now Fortenberry up top, Dixon. And it goes down low now. Sullivan off the glass. No, can't get it to go. Marks with the rebound. No foul call, but he gets the shot to go. Seven point lead now only for Texas State. Largest lead at the end of the half. They had a 17 point lead. And it's now down to seven. Right back with it. Sloan. Bishop calling for it under the basket. And they're going to have to reset. Five seconds on the shot clock. White's going to take a shot. Quickly gives it to Sloan. No, the shot did not get off in time. Shot clock violation on the Bobcats. And it is 48-41. So it'll be Southeastern's ball. And they'll bring it up now. Fortenberry. Driving to the hole. Got a bigger man on him. Marks gets a big rebound off the glass and in. It's now a five point game. In their first meeting, Texas State had a big lead. And in the second half, Southeastern rallied. Could the same thing be happening again here at the Merrill Center in the quarterfinals? Ryan White, a three, no good. Rebounded Marks. Here comes Foreign Bear the other way. Hutchin wide open for three. Got it, nothing but net. He's now got four threes in the game. Two-point game. And the SLU bench is fired up. You need your big players to make big plays. And Hutchin is starting to make some big plays. Now the three ball benefiting Southeastern here in the second half, whereas it benefited Texas State in the first. Let's go, Bobcats! 
Amute shot no good. Under the basket. And Bishop draws the foul. And the bucket. And he'll get an and one opportunity. And a big time. Segura and Johnson check back in. Amute will take a seat, as will Sloan. Cameron Johnson is a third team all conference selection. Only, only representation by Texas State. And they complete the three point play 51 46, lead back to five. And Gordon Berry hands it off to Hutchin. Back over to Hutchin. Hutchin fakes the three, drives inside, off the glass. He's fouled. And I was waiting to see if it was a charge. Ryback pleading for a charge. And it's going to stand as a blocking foul. And now Hutchin has a chance for a three point play. But we're under the 12 minute mark. We have a Officials timeout on the floor. Three points separates these two teams. It's 51-48 Texas State. More Southland basketball after this on SLC Now. Here in the second half, Southeastern Louisiana outscoring Texas State 24 to 10. They've hit five of their six three-pointers in the second half and are shooting nine of 17. Overall, they're shooting 40% to the 42% of Texas State, but Texas State only scored 10 points. And he misses the three-point opportunity, but he did get two out of it, 51-48. Down low now to Johnson. And Johnson draws the foul. 11.43 left in this game. Final quarterfinal match to decide the final spot in the semifinals. Winner plays Sam Houston State. And the first shot from Johnson is good. Like to thank everyone who's tuned in these past couple days for the, both the women's and men's quarterfinals. It's been an exciting two days of conference tournament basketball. March Madness truly is one of the best times of the year. Fortenberry with it. And under the basket is Marks. Sullivan go for it. He's pulled to the ground by Ryback and doesn't get the foul. And back the other way, Texas State takes advantage. And it's 54-48. Fortenberry with it now. Marks back to Fortenberry. Fortenberry has an open lane. Ryback closes it up quickly. Back outside now to Dixon. Hutchin has it. 
Down low, Sullivan, spin move, easy layup. Nice play there from Sullivan. And that one goes out of bounds. It'll be Texas State ball. And Doomba checks in. David Doomba, junior out of Baton Rouge. Played his high school ball at Christian Life Academy. That one tipped off of Texas State, but last touch Doomba, and it remains Bobcat basketball. Sub coming in. Tibbs back in the game for the Lions. Lions have cut a serious deficit all the way down to four. Both teams with six fouls. Texas State with three timeouts. SLU with four. Rybeckle inbound for the Bobcats. Back with it, down low to Johnson. Johnson on the baseline, under the basket, shot blocked by Dumba, and it is out of bounds, and it stays Texas State basketball. 14 seconds left on the shot clock. Ryback, quick pass to White under the basket. Baseline shot, doesn't roll in. Doomba gets the rebound. And he'll hand it off to Fornberry with a long pass under the basket to Tibbs. But Tibbs couldn't get the shot as Johnson was covering him. Fornberry with it. And now Tibbs. Doomba along the baseline. And he draws the foul. Oh, no, they're going to call an offensive foul on that, so it actually be Texas State basketball. And Johnson will inbound to White. White brings it across slowly. Segura. And we have an off the ball foul. And Fortenberry disagrees with the call. No player ever thinks he actually fouled a pl another. Patterson now back in the game. Rybeck at the line for the one and one. And he makes the first. Rybick now has 10 points in the game. Three Bobcats now in double digits. And he makes them both. Sullivan marks in the game for Southeastern. Sloan as well as Hale check into the game for Texas State. Marks will give it off to Patterson. Patterson picks it up. We're more than halfway through the final game of the quarterfinals. Texas State trying to regain their composure and hold on to this lead. Hutchin, quick shot, got it. Long two. And they might take another look at this one. And that's what they're going to do. We are going to have a review of this one. See whether or not it was a two or a three. As the officials are going over to have another look at this one.
Southeastern hoping for an overturn. Texas State hoping it stays as originally called. Taking a long time looking at this one. It did look like originally his foot was on the line. This game has definitely been different. Just about all the games in this tournament have had something interesting about it. Teams go up big, and then in the second half, other teams rally. Or you have games like our last one between Sam Houston and Nichols, where you have one guy on one team single-handedly keep his team in it and on the verge of a possible upset. Anatoly Bowes for Nichols, the first team all-conference selection, dropped 40 on the number one seed Bearcats. But the Bearcats behind the strength a wonderful play by Ashton Mitchell. They were able to hold off the Colonels and prevail and win their first game in advance to the semifinals. And the officials are still looking this way. I don't, see, I don't understand why it's taking so long. I would have figured they would have had this one by now. If, it, if it's really, honestly, if it's this close to call, you might as well just leave it as is. I mean, if you don't have definitive proof, what's the point of overturning the call? It's like that in any sport. If you got the instant replay, you know, it's gotta be definitive. And usually calls that take this long are not definitive. Southeastern's calling their coaches in. And both coaches taking this opportunity is basically a timeout as long as it's taking to determine if it stays, the score will be 56-50. If they change it to a three, it'll be a 56-51 game. Texas State fans getting a little irate with the officials. And we even have one official shaking his head. I can't imagine, honest guy, I can't imagine what is taking so long. Both teams are ready to get back and start playing again. I think we might finally have a decision. Oh, nope, back down. Wow. That didn't take very long. And now we're gonna have a conference. All right, guys, come on. Let's get this game back underway. Texas State right now up by six. Nine twenty-seven to go in the game. We are currently in the middle of a timeout from the officials. Now the teams are going to go to the benches. Well, I'm going to take a step away from the mic while the officials figure this one out.
And it has gone down as a two-pointer. 56-52. And White back the other way. Pass to the corner to the freshman. And now it's White. Johnson trying to set the pick for White. And they're going to call foul on Marks. Not happy with the call as Marks. And that is the ninth team foul on Southeastern. And a one and one opportunity here. 8.56 left. And Johnson misses the front end of the one and one. And it stays a four point game. That miss could prove crucial. Should things go bad for Texas State here. Nice pass over to Hutchin, he's bumped. Able to keep his footing. Fornberry with it now. Fornberry will take a wide open three, can't get it to go. Fresh shot clock. And they're gonna call a foul. Yep, they're gonna call a foul on Texas State. And with that, Southeast are now in the bonus. One and one opportunity here. Front end of the one and one is good. Three point game. One more shot coming from Marks. Substitution coming in. Patterson back in the game for Southeastern. Two point ball game again. Texas State struggling mightily here in the second half, but keeping Southeastern at arm's length. But that is getting shorter and shorter. They need a point here. Patterson steals it away, driving to the basket. And will they call the charge? No, nope, they're gonna call the blocking foul. Patterson to the line. He'll have two points, or two shots, to try to get two points and tie this game up. It is Patterson at the line. Patterson tonight has not made a trip to the line. He has not scored any points, 0 for 1 in his only shot attempt. And Patterson misses a crucial first shot. He'll get another one, trying to get this game within one. That second, 56-55. Texas State leads by one. White with the ball. And it's Johnson with it. Johnson over to Ryback, makes a move. Marks picks him up. Ryback goes inside to Amute. Inside. To Cameron Johnson and a foul called. And that'll be the 10th team foul 
on Southeastern, and that puts him in the double bonus. And we'll have the free throw shots coming up, but first, after there's a little discussion on the floor. Trying to see what's going on. Should be an official's timeout on the floor. And it is. Official's timeout on the floor. 56-55 our score. Texas State barely holding on right now. 7.46 to go in the game. We'll be right back. You're watching Southland Conference basketball on SLC Now. Free throws upcoming for Texas State. Cameron Johnson to the line. Johnson, three of nine, nine points tonight, five rebounds, and he's three of five from the charity stripe. These are some big free throws right here, and he gets the first one, puts the lead back at two. Texas State being outscored here in the second half, 31 to 15. And Johnson sings both of them. And the Bobcats back up by three now. Three Bobcats with 11 points. Four and double figures. Sullivan, turnaround jumper, good. Southeastern back within one. And it'll be White to bring it across. And double dribble caught on Texas State. And that's a crucial turnover at a bad time. And it's Southeastern basketball. Marks with the ball. Looking for some help. Inside pass, Sullivan, quick jumper. Bounces in. And Southeastern has taken the lead. This is their first lead since 13 seconds into the game when they made the first shot on a three. Back the other way comes Texas State, misses a shot, rebounded Southeastern. They lead it by one now. In the corner to Dixon. It's Fortenberry. Dixon with it again. And it's a turnover against Southeastern. Texas State gets the ball back, trailing by one. Texas State in their first match with the regular season, as I mentioned earlier. Texas State led by 12 in that one before blowing the lead, eventually losing to these Lions. They had a 17-point lead at half. 
And Segura puts him back on top, 60 to 59. Right back, Dixon had the ball, lays it up and in, and right back, Southeastern's back on top, 61-60. White, two-point jumper, bounces in and out. And there's a foul caught on Marks before the putback. And that'll send Johnson to the line. No two shots from him. Third foul called on Marks. Another great game here today in the Southland Conference. And he misses the first one. So Johnson now looking to tie it with his second free throw. And he does. We are all tied up at 61. It's the first time the score has been tied in this game. Marks drives all the way to the basket, tries to slam. And unfortunately, cannot get the ball into the basket, but he does draw the foul. And he'll go to the line for two. Here's his first shot. And gets a good bounce. And Southeastern retakes the lead. Tibbs back in the game. Second shot, good. Lions lead by two, 63-61. Five and a half to go. Plenty of time. This game far from over. Rybeck, long three, doesn't get it to go. But Bishop, who had the rebound, loses it, gets it back out to Johnson. And Segura from the corner, doesn't get it to go. Bishop rebound. And that one thrown back, Rybeck has it. Over to wide, wide over for the three, can he get it? No, long. Rybeck fighting for it, and he calls the timeout. Smart play by Rybeck. Timeout for Texas State. Rybeck was flying all over the place on that last possession. Doing his best to keep it in for Texas State diving for it and then eventually calling the timeout. It's a solid play there by the senior. What a game this has turned out to be. 17 point deficit at halftime. Texas State was cruising. Southeastern Louisiana though kept their composure. Started getting baskets and started hitting the three ball. Basically turning it around on Texas State. And now they lead by two with 5.05 left in the game. Southeastern trying to get to the semifinals as is Texas State. Sam Houston waiting patiently to find out to see who their foe is. White with the ball. And Bishop hands off to Segura. Segura working with an out. Tries to cross over, has it poked away, but he gets it back. Now inside to Johnson, but it was a poor pass, but Johnson collects it. At the buzzer for the shot clock, and he made it! What a shot! Ryan White, desperation three, goes in, and he puts Texas State back up by one, 64-63. 
What a shot right there. Dixon with it for Southeastern. Rybeck pokes it away, but Dixon recollects it. Drives in, doesn't have it. Trying again. And he just puts the shot up, and they're going to call the charge. And it'll be Texas State basketball now. And it looks like there's some scuff marks on the floor. And the event staff on the job. Back and forth here in the last seven minutes or so of this game. 64-63 now, Texas State back on top. They have possession, it's White. And they're gonna call the foul on Sullivan as he ran down Johnson. And Johnson will go to the line to shoot two, but before he does, We'll take that last official's timeout. Texas State has regained the lead. They lead it by one with 3.56 to go in the game. We'll have the conclusion of this one after this. You're watching Southland Conference basketball on SLC Now. here on SOC now. I'm Charlie Ferris bringing you the quarterfinal action here. Final 356 of the quarterfinals. And we see Texas State leading Southeastern Louisiana now by two with that first free throw good. One of the biggest reasons that Southeastern has made this comeback is they have scored 18 points off of turnovers. And they've closed the gap in the paint. It's only 24-18 now in favor of Texas State. At one point, that number was lopsided. Fort Barry nearly loses the ball. Texas State wanted to carry. Sullivan under the basket. He's hard to beat in that position. And he slams it home with authority. And Southeastern back within one. 66-65, Texas State leads. It's White with the ball. He's tied with Johnson for the lead. Team lead in points, 14. Right back, moving around. Johnson takes it himself. Off the glass. Put back. Oh, doesn't go in. That was close. Bishop nearly able to put that one in. And Southeastern comes up with it. Fortenberry back the other way. And now Sullivan. So that's 13 points now in the game. Marks gets it to Fortenberry. Warren along the baseline, trying to get it up, can't, and it's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Southeastern. Great defense right there on the block, and then able to knock it out of bounds, and it is Bobcat basketball.
Johnson with it, long two. Got it, big shot there. 68-65, game high, or team high, 16 points. Sullivan under the basket, he's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Sullivan one for two tonight from the free throw line. Southeastern down by three. Both teams are forever in the double bonus now. Sullivan, first shot. And the lead cut down to two. Amute back in the game. Bishop back to the bench. Sullivan misses, rebounded by White. White having a heck of a ball game, 14 points, six rebounds, four assists. Johnson, long two, got it falling down. And another big shot there by Johnson. Johnson down the stretch being clutch here for Texas State. And we'll have a timeout called by Southeastern. Coach Yarborough coming out and having a word with the official. Despite the tough second half that Texas State has had, they've kept their composure. And they find themselves back up by four now. Part, in parts, thanks to their two top scores right now. Ryan White, 14 points, six rebounds, four assists. The numbers for Cameron Johnson, 18 points, eight of 11 from the free throw line, five of 12 from the floor, five rebounds, a pair of assists. He also has a couple blocks to go with it. Since the last official's timeout, five lead changes in this game. And they've all happened within the last five minutes. Crazy game going on. On the other end, Marks has himself a double-double. In fact, he's close to a triple-double. As he has 10 points, 13 rebounds, seven assists, three away from the triple-double. Minute 49 left. Who's gonna go home? And who will play Sam Houston State tomorrow night? Will it be Southeastern? Or will it be a rematch of the season finale for Texas State? And they beat the Bearcats in that one in overtime in San Marcos. I'm sure that game's still fresh in the mind of many Bearcat fans. Watching intently with this game to see who their team will play. Southeastern, minute 38, only a four point deficit. Down low, Sullivan does not have a shot. He's gonna go out to Dixon for three, gets a good bounce, it drops in. That's a huge three, that puts him within one. 70 to 69, 15 points for Dixon off the bench. It's Ryan White. White with it, looking for some help. He goes to Ryback. Baseline shot from Johnson. And he continues to have the hot hand here late in the game. He has 20 points now. Lead is back at three. We are under a minute. Three-pointer from Hutchin. Got it, tie game. Hutchin has hit another one. 19 points.
What a game, back and forth, back and forth, and we're tied up again as Hutchin hit a three with a guy in his face. Team high, 19 points for a guy that started off so poorly. He's now 7 of 14 from the floor, 5 of 9 from beyond the arc. 19 points. Unbelievable game. 30-second timeout on the floor. Team's about to head back out there. We got 44 seconds to go, and we're all knotted up. Hutchin and Johnson for their respective teams. Getting it done. Fans are on their feet here. Both sides chanting as loud as they can. Texas State with a few more fans here tonight. We have yet to have a game go to OT yet throughout these quarterfinals. This one has that possibility with it being tied at the moment. Ryback will inbound. Inbounds pass to White. Under 40 seconds. White has it, drives it, passes it out. Segura to Bishop. Bishop puts a shot up, no good. Scramble for the ball. They're gonna call jump ball. They're gonna call the jump ball. It is a jump ball. Possession is Texas State. Shot clock no longer in effect. 23.1 seconds left in this thriller. And Texas State wants to use their final timeout of regulation. And I'm gonna step away from the mic just a second, get a drink of water, collect my breath. What a game. Don't go anywhere, final 23 seconds. Upcoming here on SLC Now. And we're back. Texas State set to inbound. Charlie Ferris here with you, as I have been the entire quarterfinals. Ryan White with it. Texas State trying to take that final possession. 
Dixon, and White loses the ball and gets it back. Now Sullivan has it. Five seconds to go. And a timeout called by Southeastern. And White gave up the ball. Dixon playing great defense. And as White tried to get away from him, just simply lost the handle on the ball. Texas and Southeastern jumps on it, calls a timeout. 5.2 seconds to go. Man, we're going to have a crazy ending to this one. Still tied at 72. Southeastern trying to drop that perfect play. Most teams have one or two plays in these moments that they go to. Their bread and butter play. Question is, do you go to Sullivan, who's your top scorer, but has had a little bit of trouble in this game, six and 12 from the floor, not having an awful game? Or do you go to Hutchin, who in the second half has been lights out and leads your team with 19 points in the game? Well, they have the play in now. Marks will inbound. 5.2 seconds left. Southeastern trying to complete the comeback. They hit this shot, they win. Texas State defends, will go to OT. He has it, Sullivan driving to the basket, puts a shot up, does not get it to go, we're going to overtime. Unbelievable. 72 all. That is the end of regulation. We're not done yet. Sullivan got to the basket, but great defense by Texas State prevents the shot. And we're going to overtime. 72-72. I'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have overtime for you. You're watching Southland basketball on SLC now. Time just about set to get underway. 72 72. Southeastern, after being down by 17 at halftime, stormed back. And after a little bit of back and forth the last six or so minutes, we are in overtime at 72 apiece. Southeastern outscored Texas State 48 31 in the second half. Both teams shooting in 40 percent. Southeastern a little bit better at 46. Hutchin with the ball. Puts up the shot, is short, rebounded by Sullivan, put back, is good. First points of overtime goes to Sullivan, who now has 16 points. Let's go, Let's go, Let's go, 74-72, five minute overtime. Only game in the quarterfinals thus far in both men's and women's to go to overtime. And Cameron Johnson, who was wheeling and dealing at the end of the second half for Texas State, and really got them back into it and kept them composed, ties it right back up at 74-all. It's Marks with it now. 
Over to Dixon. Dixon hit the big three that tied it. Sullivan. Dixon, another three. That one's wide. And White, smart play, just lets it roll out of bounds. And it'll be Texas State basketball. And back in the game for Texas State is Amute. White with it, surveys the floor. Amute driving in, nice play. Rebound, Johnson, Johnson is fouled. Originally, it looked like a foul might have been on Sullivan, but they're going to call it instead on Marks. And Johnson will go to the line for two. Shots now. Johnson sinks the first. Texas State grabs the lead. And he misses the second one a little short. Sullivan keeps it in bounds. Long pass to Dixon. Dixon waits for his team to get across the floor. Now Marks has it, hands it off to Hutchin. Hutchin, quick shot three, got it. They're gonna call that a two, long two. And SLU back up by one, 76-75 our score. Amute makes a move, goes to the basket, doesn't get it to go, and Marks as a rebound. And Dixon is chopped as he goes to the hole and he'll go to the line for two. Dixon's first free throw short. Dixon's first trip to the line. And back into the game. He started the game, Robert Tibbs. Tibbs only 11 minutes though in the game, despite starting having a rough one. Only five points. Dixon makes the second free throw. And SLU leads by two with 235 and counting. 77-75 is our score. Right back with the ball. Quick pass to Bishop. Bishop makes a move. Floating shot, no good. Knocked away, Ryback comes up with it. White, three-point shot, good! As he has all game, Ryan White hits a big three-point shot. He's got 17. And now the lead, 78-77 for Texas State. Dixon with it. Fortenberry now, up top. Barry gets a pick, still doesn't have a shot. Five on the shot clock. Dixon drives in, puts the shot up, draws the foul, and he'll go to the line for two.
Foul is on Johnson, it's his fourth. And he misses the first one in and out. Tough break. Sullivan back in the game. Tibbs will go back to the bench. Dixon struggling at the free throw line. He has 16 points in the game, though. And he's able to tie it up. 78 all. Under a minute and a half left in the first OT. Long shot from Bishop, gets a good bounce as it goes to Johnson. And that pass gets away from Segura. He tries to keep it in. They're gonna say it was out. Either way, it ended up in the hands of a line player. And it'll be line possession. Change going on here between Texas State fans and Marks. And it's Marks with it now. Down low to Sullivan. He can't handle the ball. And Ryback picks it up, and Texas State back the other way. Here comes White. Over to Ryback. Quick three. No, he goes inside, and Bish or Johnson couldn't handle it. Ryback could have gone for the three, trying to go for the smart play inside. And I think Johnson was anticipating a shot, not a pass. 40 seconds left in overtime. Tied at seven, <coughs> excuse me, tied at 78. Five left on the shot clock. Segura puts up a three, air ball. Ryback keeps it in. Out of bounds, nope, they're gonna call shot clock violation. And that's going to be Southeastern ball. No more shot clock left in overtime. The refs thought there was going to be a timeout. Southeastern coach Jim Yarborough says, no, keep it going. There wasn't one second left. The ball goes out of bounds. The clock stops, dude. And it's Fortenberry with it. And now they'll call a timeout as they get across. I'm gonna step aside for just a second. We're still tied here in overtime, 78 all. Final 18.3 seconds coming up. We'll be right back here on SLC Now. The officials blow the whistle and the timeout is over. Teams are turning to the floor. Southeastern had the final possession in regulation. They're gonna try to add the final possession again here in overtime. We're still tied at 78. And now Fordberry has it. Plenty of time to set the play. 10 seconds to go. Over to Sullivan. 
Sullivan makes a move, goes to the basket, spin move. And there's gonna be a foul called on, on Texas State. Bad time for a foul. 2.3 seconds left. And Sullivan will have two shots, two chances to put Southeastern up and put Texas State in a very precarious situation. And Texas State calls a timeout. What a back and forth game we've had. 78 all, 2.3 seconds left in overtime. Sullivan driving to the basket. And he is unable to get the shot off, but he is fouled. And with the teams in the bonus, he'll go to the line for two. Texas State trying to figure out what to do, what they can do. Regardless of what happens, when Texas State gets the ball back, they're gonna have to pretty much just shoot it immediately. And hope for a miracle. Texas State officials having words, or Texas State coaches having words with the officials, rather. Not happy with the call. Texas State still huddling. The officials telling them, let's go, timeout is over. Well, if you wanted anybody to take your final free throws, it would be your top player, Patrick Sullivan. Mentioned earlier in the broadcast, averaging almost 16 points a game and just under nine rebounds a game. He's at eight right now and 16 points. First shot, no good. Sullivan has to make this next shot. He misses the first. Will he make the second and put Southeastern up? He does. Southeastern leads at 2.3. Rybeck, long inbounds pass. Johnson has, he puts a shot up, and he can't get it. Southeastern completes the comeback. Texas State loses. Their season is over. What a game. It went back and forth after Southeastern used a strong second half push to get back into it. And they win it by one in overtime. They face Sam Houston State tomorrow in the semifinals. Quarterfinals are over. Now we get to the real meats and potatoes of the tournament. Tune in tomorrow. We'll have the semifinals for you. We'd like to thank everybody who tuned in to both days of the quarterfinals here on SLC Now. You've been watching the 2010 Southland Conference Tournament live.